This week on From the Pages of WWF Magazine, we take a look at the June-July 1986 issue. Hey guys, welcome to From the Pages of WWF Magazine. I am Anthony, this is Collector's Entertainment Network. We are going to take a look at the June-July 1986 issue of WWF Magazine. Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, and King Kong Bundy, looking kind of like King Kong, on the cover. Alright, before we do that, I would just like to ask you guys to please subscribe, please like, please comment, and please share. And I'd love to have you back to keep on watching more. Alright, let's get into the issue. All right, guys, June, July, 1986. Now, the aftermath of WrestleMania 2. you got Hogan, you've got Mr. T, and you've got King Kong Bundy on the cover. Signs of the Times, sign language of WWF fans, Slammy Awards, WWF on MTV, and Terry Funk, a modern-day desperado. And here we go. We've got WWF mailbag. Very often on the inside cover, though not always. And we have Coliseum Video Presents and three new video cassettes, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, WWF Grudge Matches, and The Best of WWF Volume 8. And of course, please check out Federation Nation on this channel because I go over some of the Coliseum videos. I haven't gone over these yet, but I have gone over the first seven, I believe. All right, here we go. We've got the old hotline, we've got the moving, and of course we've got the table of contents. Terry Funk, modern day desperado. There's Jimmy Hart and Terry Funk, looks like they're camping. And there is Dory Funk Jr., otherwise known as Haas Funk. Here is something you don't see very often, a non-WWF advertisement in WWF Magazine. You would see stuff on the back cover that was usually not WWF. That you could see. You would see, obviously, WWF advertisements, whether it's for the magazines, whether it's for LJN stuff, whether it's for any of the other merchandise, but you didn't usually see a non-WWF item being advertised around the ring. And of course, Battle of the Titans, Steamboat and Smith prove Jesse wrong. This must have been from the Wrestling Classic. Yes, I believe this is from the Wrestling Classic, which was in 19... Eight, you know, the end of 85, so they're uh, they're going back a little bit for this one, for their Battle of the Titans. There you go. American versus Russian, the Kirshner-Volkov combat. This was definitely a feud of the time with the flag match at WrestleMania 2 being a big part of it. There's more. Oh, Poetry by Leaping Lanny Poffo. This one's about the British Bulldogs. I will not be reciting poetry, but if you'd like, I'll hold there. You can pause it and read it for yourself. Grappling Glitter. What is that, Luther Vandross? What's he doing in here? And Foreign Affairs. Still a... Constant in WF Magazine, these foreign affairs articles. The True Lou Comes Through, Madman or Genius, the new book from the WWF, The Wit and Wisdom of Lou Albano. I want to get my hands on that. I do not have it currently. Oh, Savage holds the Intercontinental Belt. He snagged it. Can he keep it? This is from June, July, so this is probably just a you know, and that probably came out in probably came out in May or so. So he had had it for about three months at that time. But they're showing you the night he got it from Santana, when he took something out of his trunks and uh, hit Santana in the head with it. 
That was in the Boston Gardens. There he is after the match with Elizabeth with, as the new IC champ and Santana on the ground. And look who the referee is, Danny Davis. Although I don't think he had anything that... He wasn't in the storyline yet. They sort of retconned that, that he had something to do with it. He was still just a regular old ref at that point. New WWF Mighty Man, Ted R.C.D. Got his LJ in. Didn't even know who he was when I got it. But, I was, you know, he was so quick in and out. I barely remember him. Oh, and look, another non-WWF ad. Here it's Weight Watchers. Oh, the uh, piece is coming away from the uh, staple. That's not good. Ah, uh, there you go. WrestleMania 2, the official story. You've got all your... Re recap and uh, wrap up stuff. Look at Piper with his Epsom salts after a boxing match with Mr. T at the Nassau Coliseum, which took place only about 20 minutes away from where I grew up. The Nassau Coliseum, yep, there, New York. That was the Nassau Coliseum. WrestleMania 2, I did not see on pay per view, but I was such a wrestling fan, but I didn't know anyone who was getting it. and we could get the pay-per-view channels in our house scrambled. So, I wouldn't say I watched the whole thing scrambled, but I did watch a decent amount. It was a Monday night. It was a school night. Uh, but I did sort of put it on and listen to the commentary for a lot of it. But then I really didn't get to see the event until I was able to rent the Coliseum video a couple of months later. There's Chicago. Big Battle Royal. British Bulldogs take the title, also in Chicago. I uh, I want to do a video on WrestleMania 2 one of these days. I I I think WrestleMania 2 gets a uh, gets a bad rap. Maybe it was because it was like the WrestleMania where again I didn't see it as it happened, but like when I got into WWF, it was probably late '85, um, and then the build up to WrestleMania 2 was just so huge. I really enjoyed it. And again, I, I didn't see it live. Like I said, I was watching the scrambled version just to hear what was happening. Here's the Los Angeles stuff. Obviously, Hogan and Bundy in the cage. But anyway, it was ambitious. Three locations. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a good event. Of course, it wasn't WrestleMania 3, but I still liked it. Here are all your celebrities that were there. Lots of celebrities. Best and worst of the this month we featured Dirtiest Tricks. And again, another non-WWF ad. I don't know if this was just a sign of the times. Because there wasn't that many before. And I don't think there's that many later. But there is some in this issue. WWF Slammy Awards. Bringing the house down. I do remember this being on, I think it was at MTV. The Slammy Awards. I remember, I think, uh, I don't know if I saw it as it aired or my friend of mine just recorded it and I watched it, you know, a day or so later. I don't remember, because I do remember watching it at my friend's house. I don't remember if we were watching it live, if he recorded it and we watched it or what it, what the situation was. But I do remember that. Staying fit. Wasn't the last one with Greg the Hammer Valentine? Maybe this is his, uh own thing. It's all about staying fit. Like Greg the Hammer Valentine. WF interview a talk with Jimmy Hart. Pretty sure this is all fake. But you never know. Here it's at the back. I know going in, in, into the future the, the interview is sort of like the featured part of the, the magazine. And it's usually, usually, not always, but usually who the, the cover is. And um, is also towards the beginning of the magazine. Here are signs of the times. WWF fans create their very own sign language. Volkov is a muffin head. Brutus cornflakes. The Hammer Valentine. Miss Iran 85. Iron Geek. First runner-up, Roddy Piper. That's pretty funny stuff. All right. Here's some more. Beware of the dog is pretty much... I mean, that's a, just a general sign that I think you can get. 
Hulk, let's bag Piper. Hulk is number one. Well, some other ones. Genomania. Is that for Mean Gene or for uh, Gorilla Monsoon? And even more signs. Bruno, you are the living legend, but Hot Rod is the legend killer. They probably should have put the signs that way and not backwards. Um, so it would actually be uh, read properly. Here's the WWF wrap-up. Hulk Hogan's Real American. That is probably... Where am I? Probably when he was shooting the video for that. And there's more of the wrap-up. And the back inside cover. All that great stuff that I wish I had all of. And the back cover with the LJNs. Alright, that is June, July... 1986. Okay, guys, that was the June-July 1986 issue of WWF Magazine. Uh, Hogan, Mr. T, King Kong Bundy, what a great issue. All right, we will be back next week. But first, I'd like to ask you again to please subscribe, please like, please comment, and please share. Okay, that's it for this week. From, from the pages of WWF Magazine, and until next week, have a good one.